In this video, I will show you how to open and manipulate a CareStream Conebeam CT volume. If the volume was sent by Dropbox, simply click on the Dropbox folder. that contains the video that you want to open. And then open the folder and then just simply drag any one of the DICOM folder uh, files to the Kodak CareStream 3D uh, icon on your desktop. This opens the entire volume in, in the viewer. There are four main windows. The upper right is the 3D window. You can uh, return that to a, any one of the neutral positions by clicking on one of these boxes. The 3D volume, in my experience, is not all that helpful in diagnosis. But what it does allow you to do is be oriented as to where you are in the particular volume. You notice that the three windows are color coded. The yellow is the axial view, which is a slice that's parallel with the floor. The purple is the coronal view, which is a slice from ear to ear. And the green is this, <clears throat> pardon me, the sagittal slice from front to back. You'll notice across the top there are a number of tabs and it opens in the orthogonal slice. To move each one of these slices, you simply put the cursor over the semicircle in the color coded window. Then you hold down the left mouse button and drag that slice back and forth. So here I'm manipulating the sagittal slice and you can see in the lower right hand corner by dragging that slice back and forth I'm moving it back and forth through the volume and again you're going to go over any of the semicircles and the cursor becomes a double arrow hold down the left mouse button and move it back and forth here I'm moving the axial slice back and forth and you can see in the axial slice window how it's moving and you'll see the same movement in the 3D uh, volume or 3D window. If you are doing, uh, if you're evaluating the volume for pathology, for endo problems, or for perio problems, or oral surgery, I recommend that you mostly use the oblique slicing window. So you got the orthogonal window, the curved slice, the oblique slice. So let's concentrate on the oblique slice now. Again, we have the same color code, but you'll now notice that in addition, when you mouse over the semicircle and it becomes a double arrow, if you mouse over this small circle, the cursor becomes a four way arrow. Now, when you hold down the left mouse button, you can rotate that slice through the volume. So you can see now. Uh, that you can change the angle in all of these windows. So if, for example, you were concerned about the palatal root of this uh, second molar, you simply align the sli uh, or first molar, you simply align all the slices to that root. That way you can see the root in all three windows and then you can move the slice back and forth to see the anatomy better. Now, in addition to changing the angle and position of the slices, you can also change the thickness of the slice. You'll notice here that there is a, a 200 micron, that's the width of the slice. So you can change that to a millimeter. Uh, you can change the width to quite a bit to 5.4 millimeters. There are two different types of view, the average and the MIP. And sometimes by changing, the, um, changing from one to the other, especially if you're thickening the slice, the MIP usually is a little better at viewing the, uh, the information on the slice. The 
next thing that you can do anywhere in any of the windows if you hold the left mouse button up uh, uh, and then move the cursor up and down it changes the the brightness move it right and left and it changes the contrast so sometimes if you darken the bright brightness or increase the contrast the pathology will be more visible if that doesn't happen if you click on the mouse button be sure uh, up on this little window, the mouse settings, be sure that the MRP button is set. If it's set as none, then that won't happen. Whereas if it's set to MRP, that is how you change that.